Top of the morning, YouTube. It's your boy Young Woo back with some more on the block news. You feel me? I'm in Vegas right now, you know. I take chips when I want to, cause I get dough like I'm supposed to. You feel me? I'm right here with, with my dog and see. As y'all see, you see up early in the morning with your boy. You feel me? But today's topic of conversation, man, motherfuckers be hating, bro. I just wanna speak on motherfuckers hating and you know, taking credit for shit they didn't do. You feel me? You got motherfuckers who will see you doing good. And instead of saying they like what you're doing, motherfuckers want to take credit for the game they supposedly gave you. I just want to make this clear. The only motherfucker ever gave me game, the motherfucker who raised me and still gaming me is my mom and my daddy. Anybody else, I really didn't need no game from them. You feel me? And my favorite rapper is Nipsey Hussle. You feel me? Ain't nobody close to my age gave me that much game and gave me the ideas to, to be the person I am today. Then you gotta think about my life experiences. Like, my life experience system probably showed me more than even my mama and my daddy because I'm, everything is a motherfucking lesson. You feel me? One of the biggest haters in my motherfucking life right now is a family member, you feel me? Same motherfuckers, if y'all go to the comments, you feel me, it look like it's, it's a good comment. You know, they saying they talk to you well, they calling me twin and all that, but, you feel me? We don't follow each other on Instagram. And I ain't gonna even bring no spotlight to the person name or what what um what kind of family member they is to me because like I said, you don't get no clout off young woo. You feel me? Everything a motherfucker do or say to me is gonna be content created. You feel me, motherfuckers in the comments from a fake page. You feel me talk about I'm they twin, but when you go to they they page on Instagram or some motherfuckers and screenshotting me. Posting me, giving me free promotion. You don't, you don't see me posting nobody. I don't post no haters. I don't post nobody I don't fuck with. But motherfuckers posting me and they so-called don't fuck with me. Instead of saying, damn, this young nigga, he doing his thing. You know, he got it. He got, he one of the only young niggas, probably the first nigga from the hood to start a podcast. And anybody else coming after, they, you know, they following in my footsteps. And that's okay. You're supposed to get motivated by a real one. You're supposed to get motivated by these, these jewels I drop on a daily basis. You feel me? The first nigga who taught me about getting money and, and, and anything, any of my, my first game came from my daddy. You feel me? So can't nobody discredit that. You feel me? Can't nobody take credit for that. Like, I remember niggas used to say that I look up to them. Nigga, like, what? Nigga, I look up. I, the first nigga I looked up to was my motherfucking daddy. You feel me? Like, now I don't really have nobody I look up to. I got people that, that can motivate me, may inspi inspire me. Nipsey Hussle motivated me, inspired me. But like I said, I don't really have no motherfucking role models. I'm a grown ass man. You feel me? And when it comes to this podcast and thing, this content creation, I've been creating content before YouTube. I've been I've been creating music, that's content. I've been writing songs, that's content. So before I came to YouTube making videos and dropping this shit that y'all love watching so much, I was creating content. It was just a different kind of content. It was music. I've been I've been writing raps forever. Can nobody say they taught me how to rap? My daddy could say he inspired me to rap, motivated me to rap, but me and him don't even rap the same. My pops even told me, like, when it comes to this rapping shit, like, your lyrics, your songwriting skills is better than mine. My pops told me that. You feel me? My pops told me that he, see, the thing is, it's okay for, it's okay. It's okay when, when you see somebody doing better than you or doing something that you want to do and you get motivated. It's okay to say, I'm motivated by what you're doing. I like what you're doing. But a hater ain't gonna never... A hater ain't gonna never give you your credit where it's due. They gonna try to discredit you or take your credit, take your shine. Listen, anybody watching my page, I appreciate you for watching. You feel me? Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, all that shit. You feel me? But when it comes to the whole idea of me starting this YouTube channel, this podcast shit, ain't nobody, ain't nobody told me to do this shit. Like, cause the same motherfuckers say they gave me the game to do it. They not even doing shit. Like they following my footsteps. I'm just saying they could be older than me, younger than me. I'm pretty sure some young niggas, there's some young niggas getting more money at their age than I was at their age. You feel me? That's what, when I do, when I, when I, when I find that out what I do, I salute them. You know why? Cause I ain't no motherfucking hater. You feel me? Like the hater, man. In the minute I'm exposed to motherfuckers. Like, you feel me? I don't want to do that because I don't want nobody getting no free clout off my page when we don't fuck with each other like i don't have people who don't fuck with me and i don't fuck with them the thing is i don't have no ill will towards them i don't i don't want nothing bad to happen to them but it seemed like the motherfuckers that hate on me they want a nigga to die 
They want a nigga to suffer. They want to see a nigga doing bad. You feel me? And, I, and guess what? That's motivation for me because that's the last thing I'm trying to do. Suffer, be broke, be in jail, be doing bad. Like, if you see a motherfucker doing good, salute them. You ain't got to hate on them. If they doing better than you, see, highlight them. They probably going to give you some game to catch up. You feel me? You, all you got to do is subscribe to my channel and you're going to get all the game. We all got the same 24 hours in a day, period, point blank. And I don't spend none of my time hating. I don't spend none of my time hating on nobody. If you go to my Instagram page, man, yesterday was my mama's birthday. You feel me? So that's the last post I post was, you know, happy birthday to my mama. You feel me? And guess what? Guess who, guess who told me, man, you got to love your mama. You only get one mama. My motherfucking daddy, man. So motherfuckers trying to take credit for young who I'm going to tell, tell you, like Jay-Z told Dame Dash, if you created me, create another one. If you want to do what I'm doing, just say that. Don't say, I, I took your game and ran with it because we don't, the motherfuckers hating on me. We ain't been around each other in years. So how the fuck I had this YouTube channel popping for about three years. That's when I started doing this YouTube shit, about three years. The motherfuckers saying that they gave me the game. Motherfucker, I ain't been around you in seven. You ain't never thought to make no motherfucking content and put it on YouTube. Motherfucker still running the streets. Motherfuckers down there in 40 throwing up gang signs, still trying to gang bang. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm from the same hood these motherfuckers be from, but guess what? My mind is so far past that. I'm doing different things. You feel me? Motherfuckers hear good news about you and try to turn it into bad news or try to make it seem like they the reason for the good news. Like, if you don't fuck with me, you don't see me in the pictures with them, you don't hear about them, like, don't even ask about them with me. On everything, like, I know y'all see the motherfuckers hating on me. Feel me? Especially the ones that know me and come from where I come from. And see people that's be hating on me like it's all type of motherfuckers hating on me. And guess what? They're not gonna get no clout off me because I'm not gonna say their names. Yes, family, but it's old friends too. But I ain't gonna say their name and exactly who they are because there's no need to do that. Like my, my page is to give game and drop jewels. My page is to give game and drop jewels. So if you come into my page, how motherfucker I ain't fuck with it seven years coming to my page saying they 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 the reason I'm doing something like why the fuck is you even on my page watching me like motherfucker a hater this how haters operate haters sometimes your old friends family you don't fuck with they really miss you but they done talked about you so bad that they can't they can't expose that they miss you and they really love you so they gotta continue to hate because they done hated to so many people they done hated on you in front of so many people and the thing about me is you can't be happy for me if you hating on your own family. Oh, my mama. Motherfuckers don't want to see their own family do good. I'm just saying. Motherfuckers selfish. Motherfuckers want all the shine, all the spotlight. Motherfuckers want to be possessive of shit. Like, at the end of the day, this shit is experience. You can't possess nothing. Your own shit. Like, on oh, my mama, like, your own shit. Like, I've been getting money. Been hopping out of shit. Been hopping out of cars. I've been having jobs. You feel me? I've been... I've been moved out the projects, you feel me? I'm a project baby, I love it so much, but I've been moved out the hood, you feel me? And I don't have no plans of going back for any motherfucking reason. On everything, a motherfucker from the hood, they really love me, they gonna come They gonna come where I'm at outside the hood to come see me. But like I said, man, like I said, all my life, in my YouTube, I, I never really put my life up into the videos, right? Uh, I mean, I do sometimes, but my real life shit that I'm going through, I try to avoid that this motherfuckers hating on me. But at this point, anything I see you motherfucker talking bad about me, I'm gonna make a video about it. You feel me? I'm gonna run up them views because I I know they 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 hate that I'm being seen, but they love to watch me, which doesn't make no sense. Like when you see a motherfucker like myself doing good, salute me, salute me or shoot me, because that's what a real motherfucker really want to do. They wish I was dead. Like how can you hate on a motherfucker so much? You feel me? That I don't even think about you. I'm just saying, I don't even speak about you. Oh my mama, like you posted me. Motherfucker, I don't post you. You not a, ain't no thoughts of you running through my mind. You feel me? Don't the thoughts that run through my mind are you motherfuckers that's hating and fake. Like like I said, they go you go to the comments. Motherfuckers calling me twin. Motherfuckers saying they taught me well. I ain't even respond to that shit. Like cause I'm like this motherfucker a snake. And guess what? Put every time a snake don't do shit but but shed skin and, and then it grow back again. You feel me? Motherfuckers post it on my videos. Like they fuck with me, but you go to their motherfucking Instagram pages, they saying I'm I took their game and ran with it. Like what the fuck are you talking about? If you got the game, you supposed to run with it. Don't be mad. Listen, 
If you so-called had this game, why you not doing what I'm doing? Why everything a motherfucker doing is after me? Why, if you if you taught me, then why you ain't doing the shit until I start doing it? I'm motivating you, and that's what? It's a lot of motherfuckers that motivated me. Vlad TV, say cheese. I'm motivated, I'm my mama. I'm gonna get a credit where it's due. But when it comes to this podcast and shit, and this music shit, I am the motivation. I am the motherfucking motivation, my nigga. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, man. It's your boy, Young Woo, on the block news.